Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. As you can see, we're back in Leo Gang, Bike Park Leo Gang in Austria. And uh, I'm already here two weeks prior to the World Cup. Super cool stuff. And um, I'm uh, luckily here with uh, the bike school, Epic Bike School. Pretty cool to be here already uh, before the... Um, Here's the man himself, short, working on the bikes. Hello. Hi. So we are in uh, back in Leo Gang. Yeah, super cool to to be here. Um, World Cup will be here in two weeks' time, um, and uh, Shuert has been a friend of me for quite a long time, and he got his own bike school over here. So it's uh, so it's super cool to. To be here with him, um, I'm crashing at his place for this week. Um, so that's super cool that I can already be here basically two weeks prior before the race to already get some laps in. Yeah, shoot here. He um, offers clinics and basically helps you with uh, getting better on your bike. Um, and shoot actually used to race World Cups back in the day. Used to race, what did you race back in the day? Well, I raced downhill World Cups uh, for several years. That was uh, mid 90s until uh, 97, I guess it was. Yeah, so quite a long time. Uh, yeah, I, I used to race here in Leo Gang as well, but that was before they uh, started up with the bike uh, park. So, so it was kind of different uh, downhill by then. But the, the bike park, I bet, has come a long way since then. It's it's such a huge difference. I. Um, I, I, I did an enduro race, uh, it was uh, three years ago, and I thought, well, uh, you know, the be downhills the <laughs> will be like uh, the downhills I used to do uh, back in the days, but it was so different. But uh, yeah, I mean, it has been improved incredibly, and the, I think uh, mountain biking really has uh, become uh, in uh, the right direction, I think. Imagine racing down the fire roads here how how crazy that would be and then on, on like a gravel bike ish type of mountain bike um like that's pretty gnarly um so shoot is the the main guy of the epic bike school um but emil um he is also from the netherlands and we both actually from the netherlands I didn't even mention that but we are from the netherlands um, so if you live in the Netherlands and want to have a, um, a guide or coach that actually speaks in the same language, that's pretty nice too. Um, but he's not here, he's still out working with the kids. Um, but um, I'm sure if you, if you look up on the socials, you'll find him. Um, so it's both Shoot and Emil are the faces of the company. Now, yesterday we did some laps already. Um, yesterday was a bit nicer weather as today. I'll get some shots in right now technical trails as um, as jump trails we wrote yesterday so that was quite cool I'm about to get up on the on the lift now doing some runs should be good fun weather is not all time today but uh, I think we'll make the, the best of it so I'll show you some of the trails they got to offer here they both have like jump lines as well as enduro trails let's uh, let's get up on the gondola and uh, start riding
So from clouds and rain in the morning to sunny and almost dry afternoon. How crazy is that? Um, feeling pretty good in the bike, testing a bit stuff, um, trying to find a good spot between having enough grip at the beginning and a good mid stroke, but also not bottoming out on like the harder and rougher tracks. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, did a couple of runs on that black Rudy track and, um, um, yeah, it's been pretty fun doing doing runs on that one. Um, super technical though, um, so it's quite hard to keep the momentum, um, but uh, super fun. Um, definitely fun to to ride some technical tracks here. Um, so that's pretty cool that the the bike park here in the again can offer both jumps but also technical stuff. So that's what we like to see, of course, as the enduro sports fans so um yeah Oh man, sketchy. for sure but <laughs> we can't go bro okay okay let's see
<laughs> you guys are fast, holy shit. <laughs> I was a bit sketchy into the gap and to the left. So that's the day done and dusted. Lift just closed. I still need to wash my bike, but this line is too big. I'm gonna quickly say hi to Shoot from the bike school. They probably had a pretty heavy day as well with the with the conditions. But uh, I can tell the bikes are clean, so Shoot has done some job, some some work already. Um, I was I was the day shoot. I was the I was the laps. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I made it to ride with you. It's been Took uh, many years. It's been probably the first time we met was like seven years ago, yeah. and we actually. We only rode XC in the Netherlands, like that's that's pre pretty bad, I must say. Like all respect to XC guys, but like like uh, from what we used to do with downhill and so on, it's a uh, it's a long time coming. So it's been uh, it's been good to finally do some runs together. So that was Absolutely. was super good. Um, so again, guys, um, if you're in the area, you know the way to get here to the bike school. If you want to learn any of the of the stuff in the that we showed in the video or just ride the general tracks, blue tracks, doesn't matter. For every level um, or basically all the trails, they can show you around and um, they can help you get better in your bike. I'm pretty sure you guys speak German or like Austrian as well, like Dutch, like same as where I'm from the Netherlands and then of course English. So um, if you're in the area and you wanna get teached uh, in those languages, um, that should be all good for you. And um, that's probably gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. And uh, we'll be here in the, in the next two weeks to come, of course, um, because I'm racing the World Cup here with the Enduro bike. So um, um, we'll, be, we'll be pushing out some more content in the, in the weeks to come. And um, yeah, if you're in the area, check shoot out and um, see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.